All right, welcome back to another video on building multipurpose Laravel and Liveware application. And in this video, we'll be working on adding login functionality so that only the login users will have access to this dashboard. Because currently, anyone can have access to this dashboard, like anyone can visit admin slash appointments, admin slash users, because we haven't added the login functionality or authentication functionality, right? So, first of all, let me give you the demo of what we will be building by the end of this video so first of all let me log out this users and we have we see you see there we have login and register link over here so let me click on login link and we are redirected to the login page and if we try to visit admin slash let's say dashboard we are redirected back to the login page because only the login or authenticated user will have access to that dashboard right so let me log in as one user with password and if I click on sign in we are redirected back to the dashboard page now and you see here we have the logged in username and the logged in user image as well and finally we can log out this user so and in the next video we'll be working on adding roles functionality so that only the admin will have access to these all kind of features to this dashboard and for authentications we'll be using laravel 45 package so throughout this video you will also learn how to use laravel 45 in your application for authentication so let's get started so first of all let's install laravel 45 package so head over to the documentations and then let's click on installation over here so let's require this package using composer require and the package is successfully installed so let's do vendor publish to publish the resources ok fine and then let's do psp addition mineware and it is saying nothing to migrate because i have already migrated and fine so let me go to the home page main page and here you see the login and the register link right so now if i click on login link and it is giving this error so to fix this error we need to register the service provider in our config slash app.php so let me copy this slash and then head over to config app and then to the providers array over here let's be paste it and then to the class sorry so still we'll be getting that here because we need to do one thing let me go to 45 service provider and over in the both method we need to do 45 and the login view we need to define login view and then let's pass the closer over here And this will return return view let's say auth dot login okay so now let me refresh the page and that error is gone but we see another error which is view auth login not found so let's define that view inside of resources views let me make a new folder called auth and inside that auth folder let's create a new file called login.blade.psv and let's display here and refresh the place again and it is working perfect so now instead of displaying this empty screen we'll be displaying this login beautiful login screen so we'll be using this theme so let me go to pages over here and in the pages section there is extras and login and registers b2 so we'll be using this one okay so let me view paste source let me copy everything from here and paste in our login.blade.psv file okay so let's go back and then refresh the page we don't see any design so let's fix this so over here let's do asset and we have kept inside of backend 
which is inside of public directory, public backend, and we have already installed that plugins. Install this him right, so we can access it. And let's do the same for JavaScript files as well. Set backend. Okay. Now let's refresh the page, and we see this beautiful login screen, right? So let me remove this part we don't need this for now so after this one let's remove everything and it is fine so instead of this text let's do sign sign in okay perfect so over here let's change this action to route and the route name is login that 45 provides and the method is post fine and we need to add the csrf token as well and over here type email and let's define the name as email and the password name is password and I think it is fine so before that let's add a validation message as well after this so if there is any error related to email we will display the spam tag with the error message and let's make add the class with text danger okay and and error okay fine so for now anyone can log in anyone can have access to this dashboard appointments without logging so that we logged in so we need to fix this right but before that let's try login in with one user so let's try login in with john at example.com I have already added that user and if I try to log in and it is redirect back to the home page right and instead of redirecting to the home page we need to redirect back to admin slash dashboard page so to fix that we need to go to route service provider so route service provider which is inside of app providers route service provider so over here we are defining as home so instead of home let's change this to admin slash dashboard okay so let me clear the cookies now let's go back let's try login in again so join at example.com and we are redirected back to the admin slash dashboard page which is perfect so now let's try accessing this url in the incognito tab so let me do and we are still able to access this dashboard right we haven't added any authentication middleware so that only the authenticated user will have access to this dashboard so let's fix this first so let's go to web.php file and over here let's define let's wrap every route by route group so let's do route group and we will pass the head over here with the middleware called auth okay and its second argument we will pass the closure and inside of this function we will paste everything so now every route are protected with authentication middleware so that only the authenticated user will have access to this dashboard to these routes but in the next video we will be working on role so that only the admin will have access to these things so now let me copy it and then open the incognito window and let me paste it and we are redirected back to the login page which is fine 
so now let's display the logged in username and the logged in user image so to do that let me go to a site the plated PSP and over here let's do auth user name okay and we displayed it and for image I think we have already created the accessor for that so we can access it using authenticated user avatar url okay this is fine so this avatar url is coming from user.psp and we have defined the accessor for getting the avatar url okay and everything seems fine so let's add finally let's add the logout functionality right so let me go back to the aside.blade.psp and on logout over here as we let's wrap this link with the form with the method of post and the action route logout okay so let's indent it and over here let's define a route called logout and we need to pass the CSS CSRF token as well. So over here, let's do on click event that prevent the default event. Okay, and then this dot closest form will be submitting the form. Now let's write and we are successfully logged out so now we can access admin slash appointments right anything inside of admin so one more time let me log in as this user and let's add icon over here or logged out so let's do sign out and everything is fine so this must for this video and in the next video we'll be working on adding roles functionality so that only the admin will have access to this dashboard so till then have a great time and i will see you in the next video